Welcome to Keeping It Real Talk Show. Your host, Tim Williams, and your co-host, Your Grace Williams. Now let's go into the show. Timothy Williams, I'm your host. I'm your co-host, Congrats Williams. Keeping it real talk show. And today we're here with Jason, and he's going to talk to us about different things, how to lose that belly fat, you know what I'm saying, get fit. He's going to go over some of the things. He's going to take us uh, pretty much and show us the basics. And he's also going to tell us uh, some of the things that, you know, we can eat, you know, to uh, get fit. So, Jason, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you? Doing great. Now, you're, you're my bacon <laughs> Well, we're going to see if we can get a good workout in for you. I'm ready. And help you for the lose ladies. the pounds and inches that you're wanting to lose. So if y'all want to, y'all go ahead and follow me. Watch. Uh, a lot of females are unhappy with their, their legs. They either want them bigger or they want them smaller. No female that I've ever met has been happy. One of the best ways to do that is through the squat. Squat is a very, very hard exercise to perfect. So to start out with, what I want you to do, we're gonna do wall squats using this exercise ball. I'm gonna stick it right here if you would. Come up, turn around. All right, now press up against the ball. I need to keep my arms flat. Keep your arms out your side. Take your feet, get them about shoulder width apart. Now I want you to walk out just a couple of inches for me. All right, spread your feet. Now our goal, Whenever we squat down, if you would go ahead and slow short. So do I need to sign a waiver in case I fall? No, <laughs> you're, you're not going to fall. I promise you, you will not fall. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start squatting down. Squat down, squat down, squat down. Okay, and up. Our goal is to keep our knees behind our toes. That way, everything is supported through muscle and bone. Nothing is going to be going through the knee. Okay. okay. We want to keep our knee behind our toes, and the middle of our knee should line up between our third and fourth toe. Okay. Okay? So go ahead and squat down, keep your head up, inhale for me, now exhale on the way up. Let's go. 13, 12. 12 what? You got 11 more. <laughs> 10, nine, eight more, seven more. Six, five more, four more, good form, three more, two more, one more, good job. All right, I've got the ball. Now, what I recommend is stretching out in between each exercise. That way, you're getting the blood flow out. All right, think of the muscles as a balloon. Okay, the first time you blow up a balloon, you're forcing air in there, it's hard to force air in. Let all the air out. Start blowing again. It's easier to put more air in there and the balloon stretches a little farther. Your muscle is going to be the exact same way with the muscle fascia. Okay? okay. Doing the exercise, you're forcing blood into the muscle. Get finished. We want to stretch out. Help get some of that blood out. That way we can put more blood back in. Okay? We're stretching our quadriceps here. What you can do, find something that you can put your hands on. And you're just going to reach back, grab your foot, and pull up and stretch. Now, I don't want you to just keep doing this, right? I want you to find a place that's comfortable and pull and hold it for about 20 seconds, okay? Cheat us now. Huh? Don't cheat us now. <laughs> Alright, swap legs. Thanks, else needs to be trained. No. They, they've got to go. I mean, you've heard the saying, no pain, no gain, right? That's right, no, that's true. Well, there is a difference between pain and pain. We, we want you to feel the exercise, but oh, yeah. we don't want it to kill you. I don't think it's going to kill you. Nah. I give it five more seconds. Yes, sir. It's just gonna help you. Man. I know, that's not <laughs> for real. All right, good job. You can that, put it down. That's oh. gonna be it. Oh, uh, workout time. <laughs> uh, something that's else no. that oh. we can work on uh, that a lot of people forget about is stability. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
Think of it like a house. Okay. You can build a million dollar mansion, and if you have a subpar foundation, it's gonna crumble, okay? okay? The body's the same way. Sure. You can get the muscle as big and as strong as you'd like it, but if you don't work on your foundation, which is your ligaments and tendons, it's never gonna reach its full potential, all right? With our legs, our knees and ankles, or our stability. To work on that, what we do, start with, whatever foot you feel more comfortable with, we're gonna start off, okay? okay? Just stand on that foot. I want you to lift the other one up about three or four inches. Now, the one you're standing on, bend down some. Oh, wow. oh I know, you'll see that your body's won't start shaking, right? You feel your knee and your ankle yeah. start doing this? Well, what we're doing, we're working on our stability. So we're just going to hold this for about 15 seconds. Hey, I'm tipping. I know. Well, look, if you need to put your foot down, put your foot down. No, right back up. Hey, you can do this. What you, what you been drinking, man? All right. Give oh, five more seconds. A little bit <laughs> okay, now let's swap feet. Now, the one that we just had up, we're going to put down on the ground. Mm -hmm. We're going to lift the other one up. So go ahead and lift it up. Now let's squat just a little bit. Head up for me. Uh-huh. That's that's me. Did he untip that? Uh -huh. This is funny, huh? Yeah, Kelsey, we, we can go down even more. Oh, no, we can't. You may. All right, well, let's get back up. Okay, I'm here. All right, give me 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Seconds never seem that long until you exercise. Until you exercise. That's right. All right, that's good. Good job. Yeah. See how it's down to me when I get tired of him, I just... You, you can mute it. <laughs> we, we can get your remote if you're trying to mute me. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, so that's that. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you feel it in your muscles mm -hmm. as well, right? Your, your quadriceps and your hamstring, you know, the front and back of your legs. It's going to take some of the load, but especially in the knees and ankles, uh, you should be feeling it right now. Right. right? They feel a little shaky. Right. But that's because you front them, you're putting more stress on them than what they're used to. And the only thing they can do is get stronger. Would that be good for someone who's a little bit older? It, it's good for that? everybody, but like yes, especially person. for somebody that's older because uh, a lot of times whenever you get older, mm -hmm. uh, you get weaker. Right. Right? The muscles get weaker, the bones get weaker, and you have a tendency to, to slip and fall or just right. fall. By working on your stability, you can help prevent falls. Good. Okay? Cool. All right. So you older ladies, you can do this too? And that strengthens your back muscles as well, right? It, it strengthens your core, your, your abdominals okay. and your lower back, because right. to stay in that position, the the more you tighten your stomach and your lower back, the easier it's going to be. That's something. So that'll help. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll help with that. It, it does. Yeah. That it does because just walking around, if, right. if you have good posture, you're right. tightening your core. Gotcha. Okay. And just about every single exercise, you need to engage your core. Right. Because it'll help you get good form, it'll help you with your breathing as well. Right. Gotcha. Wow. All right. That's a good too. Yeah. Now, how good are you at sit ups? Good. Good, because we're not going to do sit ups. Yay. Well, that's what I asked me to do. She hesitated. No. <laughs> no, I can do push ups. Yeah. I was like telling Commander to RTC today. Yeah. About 12 years ago. Well, we're going to have to see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got to find I'm, I'm going to have to see some push ups. But start with, we're going to work on our, our abdominal muscles. Right. Some. Now, I, I'm real big into doing crunches because there's not as much stress on your, your neck and upper back, but I do crunches a little bit different, okay? And I train the first session on crunches very different. So if you want to, we'll walk over here, we'll set the mat up for us. Like this? Well, I want them straight up. Okay. See the line directly above your head? Gotcha. That is our aiming point. Okay. Okay? Right. To make sure that we do them right, uh -huh. We're gonna move this to right here. <laughs> if you okay. think you're gonna hit your face, but I promise you, you won't. Right. I just need your arms to be in contact. Okay. Now, we're gonna take this ball. Lift your feet up for me. <laughs> Lift my what? Lift your feet up. <laughs> now, we're gonna put your feet on the ball. Wow. And what I want you to do. Well, this needs to be on YouTube. Too. Okay. I want you to take the point of your elbow uh -huh. and stick them in the palm of my hands. <laughs> and squeeze up and hold for a count of two. All right, let's go up. Rip. Yep, coming up. 1,001, 1,002, then go down, and up. 1,001, 1,002, and down, and up, down. 
not, not so bad. Not so bad, but you see what little movement you're having to do? Oh, yeah. But you're feeling it all throughout your abdominals, right? Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this. Do just a regular crunch for me. All right, let me get this bowl out of your way. Okay. Now, however you do a regular crunch. How do a regular crunch? Yes, sir. I do it like this. All right. You see how much movement right. you're having to do to get the same amount of effort? Right. It, it's, it's wasted motion. Yeah, that's true. So instead of moving two to three inches, you're having to move like five to six inches. Right. All right. So that's putting more strain on your lower back. Uh -huh. By coming up and walking forward, it's right. putting strain on your neck. Gotcha. So we're trying to alleviate that. Okay. Okay. That was basic. Right. The advanced is lift your feet up again for me. Okay. Now, spread them. Grab the ball with your feet. Okay. Now, <laughs> just like we had you a while ago. Like this. Just straight up. Now, what I want you to do is take the elbows and try to touch the line, and we're just coming straight up. Like that? Just like that. And then down. Now, if you want it to be harder, what we're going to do. Okay. No. Oh, <laughs> keep it up. Okay. Keep it up, but we're going to move. Come the down some. Oh, down. my God. And then that's really going to engage your lower abdominals. Got gotcha. you. I feel it. I'm okay. glad I did Now, lay back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See if you can do one. Just come up, squeeze, uh, and hold it. Good job. Good job. Now let Gracie do it. Hallelujah. No, I did this class. Uh, Not too. Don't never do it. Never do surrender. Car salesman. Tonight we sell them all. I do want to see a push up. Yeah. What? I want to see a push up. Go ahead, yeah, but. I, well, I know I can do a push up. I want to see you do a push up. And for all the ladies out there that are wanting to work right. with the body, or gentlemen which have a weak upper body, we can do push ups in a different way as well. All right? So. Oh, you're for real. For the yeah, girls, I, I'm for real. For the ladies. Let's hey. see what you made of, bro. I, I said 12 years ago. <laughs> 12 years ago, y'all. <sighs> We're gonna see what you can do okay. that. Let's get some good form in. Okay. Am I doing a guy or a woman? If you can do a regular. You gotta show me the form. I mean, whatever you want. Hey, this can... is slippery. What? Well, here, we'll move that up. In the off front, my equilibrium is off. What? Well, look, we just worked on stability. I know. I gotta do that a couple more times. Well, you tell me what you want me to do for the lady. I, I just want to see you. Do I a never push -up. could do this. Regular oh. push up. Okay. Okay. Now, where are you feeling that at? My arms. Right here. <laughs> All right, now do me this favor. All right, yes. get, get on your knees. Whenever you went down, did you feel the elbows flare out? No. What I want you to try to do is go down and tuck your elbows along your side. Now push up. Did you feel that more? You yeah. tried up and in your chest? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. That was decent. This is what you do after you have kids. Oh, Jesus. Right. And now, two push-ups isn't going to get you the results that you want. I know you got this one so, happens after well, What we can do is pray. <laughs> Prayer works. Oh, my God. Okay. But instead of doing them on your knees, because you could probably get maybe 10 more correct ones on your knees, because on your knees, we're, we're not going to be doing this. You're just kind of pushing for it. Though. You would be rocking. Okay. Okay. You could probably do about 10 more good ones right there. All right. We want to do more than one. Okay. So what we're going to do, ma'am, if you don't mind, we're going to use the wall again. Okay. So we're like this. We're going to reverse that and put it like this. So we're going to take our hands and elevate our hands. Okay. We're going to move our feet back. Head's going to be up. We're tightening our core. So, so far, I don't want them getting back up. All right. <laughs> Tighten our core up. And remember, instead of flaring our elbows out, we're going to tuck them down towards our side and then push up. We're going to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Because what we're doing there, we're feeding our muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. We're getting oxygen in our system, and that's going to help with our muscular performance. It also helps lower your blood pressure. So push-ups help lower blood pressure. Breathing helps lower your blood pressure, okay? Because you've seen people.